Hi, my name is Bruce Stewart. I'm a technical service manager with FMC located out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. I cover Oklahoma, Kansas, and that northern Texas panhandle. And I'm Corey Wolk, retail market manager for Southwest Kansas. And today we're going to visit about Zyway LFR fungicide. It is our at plant fungicide, uh, systemic and long lasting. And mm -hmm. the high rate of this uh, fungicide is 15.2 ounces. And you're going to want to place that half inch to four inches off the seed, and you're gonna run it with about five gallons of water. Yeah, thanks, Corey. Yeah, uh, you know, Zyway's been utilized uh, quite a lot out here in southwest of central Kansas, and uh, we conducted about 19 different demo trials uh, with growers and farmers out here where we'll treat half of a circle and compare uh, yields on both sides. You know, we've seen about a six and a half bushel increase per acre when we utilize Zyway at that high rate, that 15.2 fluid ounces. And then if we look over the whole U.S., uh, we've seen about an 8.6 bushel per acre increase. Uh, you know, in other parts of the country, disease pressure is a little higher, and that may be the reason we're seeing that uh, yield increase uh, of up to 8.6 as compared to uh, 6.5. You know, we've also seen uh, some good yield increases on silage, which is important now because a lot of times growers are expecting to take it to grain, but then have to come in and, and uh, utilize it for silage. But we've seen about a 0.6 to one ton uh, increase per acre when utilizing um, Zyway LFR. You know, we've, I've kind of hit on disease protection uh, with Zyway. Uh, you know, it c controls gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, southern corn leaf blight, and things. But we've also seen, even whenever there's not much disease, uh, some benefit in yield uh, that occurs. And, you know, I'd kind of like maybe we can discuss the physiological benefits that we've seen as well with this product. Bruce, yes, we've identified a few things that um, have come out of our research and our field trials with uh, Zyway. There's been about eight. Uh, physiological hmm. benefits that we've identified. The first is improved water movement. So the ability for that plant to utilize the water that is available uh, in, at least definitely in western Kansas, you know, drought obviously is mm -hmm. a concern. So any water that is available really want to see the ability of that plant to move it um, and utilize it in, in, in the best way. Um, the next thing that we've seen is enhanced root growth and development. So those root systems, just greater mass, greater volume of root, um, more branching. Mm -hmm. So again, just root health overall comparative to the untreated check. We've also seen op optimized nutrient uptake. So just along <laughs> the same lines as the water uptake, um, that NP and K availability to move up mm -hmm. the plant. Increases. Mm -hmm, yeah. For sure. And then we've also seen stock integrity improved which definitely in western Kansas, uh, the wind is always a lot of an wind, issue. Yeah. Yes. So um, the ability for that plant to stay upright, um, the harvestability um, to be there for, for somebody who's, you know, obviously needs it to be up, not down. So um, right. that's, that stock integrity is a big deal. Well, some good points. You know, to kind of round out those eight uh, physiological benefits, I guess the other thing we've seen through research uh, is also uh, that the height of the plants that are treated with Zyway is, is they're uh, usually taller. Also the diameter of that stalk, uh, the corn stalk is bigger. Uh, also we've seen that it gets to a leaf stage earlier oftentimes with Zyway uh, as compared to the untreated check. You know another thing we've seen that sometimes not paid as much attention to is that lower leaf canopy is still retained there. Uh, so there appears to be that plant's just a little bit healthier, able to retain those leaves. And yes, only probably 10 to 12 percent of that lower canopy uh, results in photosynthesizing and, and filling that kernel, but that's still pretty important. Uh, you know, most research has shown that that ear leaf and above accounts for about 85 percent of the uh, yield uh, component making the kernel and things like that. Uh, but still that lower leaf can canopy is retained. Um, you know, some research done at K-State has shown that the chlorophyll level is also increased. So with more chlorophyll, more, more photosynthesis, more photosynthesis means more, more yield as well. 
Another aspect with uh, what we've seen with Zyway is this leaf expansion that we see the leaves uh, more fully opened uh, and you know what that means is more photosynthesis. The, the sun can reach that leaf more, it's not as curled up and uh, just ultimately helping with yield whether it be grain yield or, or silage. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. I think that uh, as we kicked off, um, FMC kicked off Zyway LFR, you know, our benefit was disease control. Mm -hmm. But what that's turned into through research trials, university trials, um, our field trials, we've really uncovered some physiological benefits that have really shown some improvement in the overall health of the plant and in turn what that can do uh, to your increase for your yield. You're exactly right, Corey. I, I think uh, when we first worked with the product, mainly disease control, and then now we're finding all these physiological benefits that can come along. To make sure we get the best of both the disease control and the physiological benefits, you know, there's probably three things, you know, just to summarize here at the end. One, placement, you know, it, the uh, Zyway LFR needs to be about a half inch off the seed, up to four inches away from that seed. We do not want it on, on the seed. Uh, also, the volume, we want to make sure we have at least five gallons an acre of, um, of the volume to put down uh, next to the seed. And then also agitation uh, of the solution uh, of the product before we pour it in the tank. Make sure that we really uh, agitate and mix that uh, material up before going in the tank. And if the planter sets overnight, that we agitate that solution. So. So I think if you follow all these things, you know, you, you're going to have uh, optimal opportunity to see excellent disease control and also some of these physiological benefits we talked about today. So, you know, Corey and I wish you guys the best of luck and hopefully Zyway can uh, help increase your yield this year. Thanks. Mm -hmm.